Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Delafave. It is Monday, March 30th at 3.50, and I am saying hello. And thank you for everybody who joined yesterday's digital gathering. And it was, it was nice. It was a really good opportunity to kind of talk to people about, you know, what we're grateful for, what we've accomplished, and what we plan on learning during this, this time period. And uh, just continuing suit with bringing unique offerings to people that are optional and totally amazing. Uh, on Wednesday of this week, uh, we're going to be starting a digital wellness variety show. So it's the Wellness Wednesday Variety Show. And it'll be myself uh, and a couple of my other colleagues, teachers, who are joining in from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's geared towards really parents and families in general, uh, but it is more geared towards um, people who want to jump into the space of wellness, anything from uh, breath work to organizing and creating space both physically and emotionally for yourselves during this time. I know if you're anything like me, I have the four-year-old and two-year-old that I've told you about before. Creating space physically, creating space emotionally is absolutely important. Um, we're going to be talking some nutrition and cooking tips. We're also going to have people on talking about mobility and movement. Uh, a, a more robust schedule will be published tomorrow. And uh, I just hope that you chime in for that. That's from 6 to 7. Again, if you can only sign in for 20 minutes, each one of these segments is 15 minutes in length. So if you can sign on for 15 minutes on one of the subjects that you want to hear, awesome, phenomenal. Um, and just, just to kind of keep going off this growth mindset series. So all of that Wellness Wednesday stuff will come, right? I'm going to put some more information into it in the Herald so you'll be able to see it. But just to kind of talk a little bit more with you guys about um, this growth mindset, you know, this umvelt, the, the idea of your perception. Um, I want to share a book that I read um, this past year. Uh, actually, it was a year ago, almost this month, and it is it's upside down or backwards, I know. But it is uh, Man's Search for Meaning by uh, Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl is a Holocaust survivor, uh, a psychiatrist, uh, and somebody who is truly uh, worthy of revisiting during this time. And it is, it, it's a really fascinating message. And I'm going to kind of prop you up here so I can grab the book. Um, I know it goes in and out with the, the, the light in the background. But... Just to kind of give you a sense of what Victor went through, uh, he, he won again, he was a Holocaust survivor from 1942 to 1945. Um, and he was in four different concentration camps. His, his, uh, you know, his, his wife, his brothers, his parents, none of them survived, but he did. Uh, and what he started to do in these camps was a really interesting thing. He started to, taking notes in these journalings on these little scraps of paper to determine like, what is the essence of survivability? What is the reason why people move forward in difficult times? And it was really interesting that uh, what he found was that meaning, logos, brought people to advance in whatever struggle that they had. Uh, it wasn't the pursuit of happiness, right, or pleasure, right, that... that, that um, that, that a lot of like Freudian ideas maintained. It was the idea that that meaning, that personal meaning, like unique to you, unique to me, meaning within our own lives moves us forward. And this kind of riffs off of Sebastian Younger's work of last week and the idea of, you know, having something that is meaningful in your life is the point of living, right? Is the idea, the reason why we push forward. So just to briefly read a passage for, uh, for you guys from the forward, I've always wanted to do this. I always love these book clubs, and I think this is really cool. I would love to see some of your videos or comments or anything, and please feel free to subscribe to this and send me emails or shoot me a comment on Instagram or Facebook or you know the, the district websites uh, because I, I love the sharing of information more so now than ever. Um, but this is from the Ford, and I quote, Frankel saw three possible sources for meaning in work, doing something significant, in love, caring for another person, and in courage during difficult times. Sound timely? Suffering in and of itself is meaningless. We give our suffering meaning by the way in which we respond to it. 
powerful is that? I want to say it one more time. Suffering in and of itself is meaningless. We give our suffering meaning by the way in which we respond to it. Uh, and it goes on. You cannot control what happens to you in life, but you can always control what you feel and do about what happens to you. So these are pretty powerful words from a, uh, an even more powerful man. And these, uh, these concepts are, are timely, right? They're, they're timeless. And so I hope that brings you uh, a little bit hope, uh, closer to kind of looking inward and being aware of, of, of the times that we're in and, and how to appreciate them as, as, well to, as well as how to feel during them. I hope to see you all during our Wellness Wednesday on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Again, more information will be coming out on that. And I do hope to hear from you. Please feel free to shoot me an email, subscribe, send me comments, and uh, talk soon. Have a good day.